Who's ready for an epic mystery box battle? And some peanut butter bars? Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have two mystery boxes from once again, one of our favorite companies, Epic Collectibles. Uh, we always try to get at least one or two boxes every time they drop a mystery box. They usually do it on Saturday night, so make sure you guys are following their Instagram because you do not want to miss out on their boxes, and I'm really excited to open this up. Now, I'm on a two-week win streak here, so I'm feeling pretty good. But before we bust those open, what do we got? We have peanut butter bars. Mm, yes. So super easy to make, not a lot of ingredients. Um and you can put them in the fridge, you can put them in the freezer, and just enjoy them as the week goes on. How long do they take to make, roughly? Um, about 20 minutes, 20. Nice. Yeah, I'd say about 20 minutes to grab nice. everything and... Well, they look fantastic, so I'm excited. If you guys are new here and you're confused in any way because you came to this video for a mystery box battle, you're in the right place, but for the first part of the video, we like to review some food either that Joanna made or that we go out and buy from a restaurant or a fast food so place. So if you guys are in the Massachusetts area and uh, you have any recommendations, let us know. Let us know. All right, cool. Let's do it. You yeah, ready? let's do it. All right. Is so there I'll... a small piece? Nope, that one. I'll take that one. one. You'll take that one? All right. Cheers. Cheers. So this is what they look like. So I don't think it's zooming in. Is it zooming in? Mm -hmm. yep. Peanut butter and a layer of chocolate. Honestly, can't go wrong. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. How come we've been married this long and you've never made these before? Because... Because I would have married you a lot sooner if you made these. Because I try not to make a lot of sweets. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And I'm not... I think I'm better... It's crazy because I think I'm better at making desserts. Which is a problem. Than I am at making food. And I love making food. And you love all my food. So if I keep yeah. doing this to all the desserts, we're going to be 700 pounds. Probably. So. But we'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> so that's why I try to limit the desserts that I make. Well. Because I can make a quadrillion of them. These taste really good. Obviously, chocolate and peanut butter usually pair pretty well with each other, but um, you did a really good job. It tastes almost like a, I don't know how to it, it, it's similar to like a Reese's cup, but the, I feel like the chocolate level and the <laughs> layer of peanut butter is like equal, whereas sometimes I feel like you bite into a peanut butter cup and it's like a lot of peanut butter all at once if you like bite right into the center so this is a good even even mixture so yeah and i mixed um semi-sweet and white chocolate together you can taste that as well you can taste a little hint of white chocolate it's good cool i'm all glad right. you like them now you can eat them throughout the week i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a good week <laughs> all right so it's mystery box time so we each have a box this is mine from epic collectibles I don't know. Usually I've been switching the boxes to see. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling good. I'm going to stick with this box. Okay. So I'm going to stick with this box. I'm going to play a hunch. And uh, we'll see if I can get another point and continue to climb back up. Good for you. Yeah. I, I like If it to... wasn't for Randy, you would have been low on the... That's true. So shout out to Randy for that new strategy. But, he helped you succeed a little. But it's like a little bit of reverse psychology. If I always do it, it won't always work, you know? All right. So Epic Collectible, shout out to them. They do a great job with their packaging. And uh, you don't even have to worry about seeing the pops when you open up a box. I love this size box. Epic is killing it. Yeah. Because we have three little blind sorters here. And it's kind of funny. I've seen a lot of other companies actually use these specific sorters for their auctions or for their own, you know, mystery box games and stuff. So it's pretty funny. Epic so. should sell them. They should, honestly, they should. All right, you know what? I'm feeling good, you know? I'm on a win streak here. I'm gonna go first. So first pop we have 
coming out of the sorter here is General Grievous. Look at that. And that is the newer General he has Grievous. Four, right? Where he has, two? Yep, he's got the four lightsabers. Look at me knowing a little bit of Star Wars. We I'm must go back you. and not know stuff. Let's let's rewind that. <laughs> <laughs> let's All right. cut that out so everybody still thinks I don't know anything. Let's see. Oh, tracks. From we've the had, Transformers. Yeah, we've had this one a couple times from the Retro Toys line. It's a cool pop. Yeah, he has a lot of detail. Yeah, he does. They did a good job on these pops. Bam. Is it? There's tracks. I don't think my hands are not long enough. No, you got it. You got yeah. it. All right. Next pop that I have, I feel a sticker oh. on the bottom. It looks like the metallic ah. Imperial Palace Harley Quinn. I think she has some good value. She does. Oh, there we go. All right. So ah. far, my hunch is playing off. Bam. All right. You're up. Let's see what you get. Oh. Yep. Got to spin it. <laughs> I was like, wait. Got to spin it. Carnage. Carnage. We've gotten that one recently. Is this the one that you said you hated? That you I, didn't like? I'm not a fan of this Carnage. I, I think it's just really ugly. I don't know. What do you think of it? Um, yeah. I just think the mold and his face and... I don't think I'm alone. I think a lot of other people in the community feel the same way. But, alright. My last pop. So far I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> but we'll see what we get in sorter number three. It looks like some kind of anime pop here. In a sleeping bag? Yeah, we have Azawa. Maybe that's how you say it. In a sleeping bag. Look at that. Oh, he's kind of cool. It's kind of cute. I like his little sleeping bag. From My Hero Academia. So, obviously, uh, My Hero Academia is pretty popular. So, All right. but I don't and know about that character. My last pop is... The Mandalore. Oh, yes! The Mandalorian Glow. With the dark saber. I actually need this one. That's perfect. Boom. Mandalorian with the dark saber. I might have not won this battle, but at least I got a pop. No, you never eat. know. You never know. These Imperial Palace pops, sometimes they're I up, think sometimes she's they're like down. 60 bucks. 60 bucks? Yeah. We've had a lot of them recently, I so. Should, yeah, I think she might be like 60, 70 bucks. Let's uh, check values and let's see where we are. Let's see where we're at. We'll be right back. Okay, so we just got back from the very critical pop price guide, and the first pop that I have to report back to you guys is General Grievous coming in at $22. My Az Azawa? Azawa in the sleeping bag, which is exactly what I want to be in right now, coming in at $35. And then my big hit of the box. She did not let me down. Harley Quinn! Metallic coming in at $70, giving me a total of $127 on my $67 or $65 box. So pretty much doubled my value. I don't know what you're doing over there, but I doubled my value. <laughs> All right, so we have Trax, and he's coming in at $47. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's yep. pretty good. And then we have um, Carnage, and he's coming in at $27. And then we have The Mandalorian, and he's coming in at $50, which gives me a total of $124. Are you kidding me? Let's freaking go with the win once again. <laughs> Put another point in John's column. Coming up big by three bucks. Three dollars. Three you sure you yours correctly? <laughs> I did. I. Pff, you can Dude, go check good it. Good for you. Right. Good for you. See, You're like I the was, Rangers. I was thinking about. They like, sucked for a while. Whoa. All and right. And then they 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 did the, yes. the seventh game. If anybody's been paying attention to the hockey playoffs recently, the Rangers were down three games to one to the Penguins, and they came back and they won in Game Seven. That was epic. Now they're playing the Hurricanes, so anxiety is brought back to square one. Um, You're like the Rangers. I'm like the Rangers. We're coming back, baby. We're coming back. <laughs> We're pulling ahead. And uh, I, you know what? I love you, Randy, but I had to mix things up. I can't always use your strategy, but man, 
That was pure luck, let's be honest. That was, that was, that was pure <laughs> luck. But hey, I will take it. And we epic got some good pops. Epic boxes are epic. Yeah, epic a collectible mystery boxes. I mean, guys, we paid $65 each for both of these boxes. And we doubled our value essentially on both boxes. So yeah. um, another awesome mystery box and battle. And keeper. Huge keeper with the Mandalorian and the Darksaber here. I'm loving this pop. I needed it. I thought I had it. I don't. So now I do. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, this is crazy. So yep. anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know down in the comment section below which one of these pops is your favorite. And do you think my hot streak will continue? And will I be able to tie it up with Joanna and then eventually take the lead? I don't Good know. Good for you. Good for you. We'll see. She's like over here, like humbly, like planning her <laughs> victory. Like she's just giving me all this false hope and then she's going to win like 10 weeks in a row. So <laughs> I will take it. We're ending on a high note. Three wins in a row, baby. If you guys are new to the channel and you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And of course, give a big thumbs up on the like button. We would definitely appreciate it. And uh, as always, don't stop shooting till you score. Guys. We'll see you guys very soon.